Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Matt Modi here with OddsStream, here to give you my favorite DFS player props for today. Looking at prize picks, looking at underdog to give you the best DFS plays today across NBA and NHL because it's today. Obviously, if you're looking for NFL, I have a couple videos out now with DFS entries, so definitely make sure to check out those as well. There's a couple cool things about these DFS platforms like Underdog, like Prize Picks. Number one, they're located in states where uh, sports betting is not legal, like the two biggest ones obviously being California and Texas. So depending on the state you're in, if you can't actually bet on sports like on a FanDuel and DraftKings, you might still be able to use Prize Picks. Another thing that's cool about Prize Picks. So the way it works, which I'm sure everybody watching this is aware of, but it's essentially like a player prop parlay. You combine multiple player props into one single entry. The more plays you add, the higher the payout is. That's similar to a parlay in sports betting, which is entirely different. The or, or I should say the part about Prize Picks that's entirely different is that the payout of each individual or um, entry, each individual number of legs is the exact same no matter what. Meaning, if you place a two-leg entry on either Price Picks or Underdog, you're always going to double your money in terms of profit. Always. No matter what individual plays you add, the payout's the exact same. It's the same with three legs, four legs, five legs, six legs. No matter what plays you add, the payout's the exact same. That is remarkably different from sports betting, which if they think a play is likely to hit, whether it's a player prop or not, they're going to charge more money for it. They're going to make it more expensive to buy, or they're going to up um, up the juice of the play itself. So that's kind of why the strategy is entirely different with these DFS platforms. And then lastly, um, using Odds Jam, you can filter specifically for prize picks for underdog, and it'll give you plays that are profitable entries to add or profitable player props to put into an entry. And you don't need to do any work. It literally just puts the five plays up here which is what I have today, a five leg entry. So that's kind of the main things to keep in mind when it comes to prize picks. Um, and I'll highlight a little bit more about the strategy part of it when I'm talking about the individual legs. Like this one is a hockey one. And the play is Eric Carlson over 0.5 assists. Basically, he will have one or more assists. So the way the payouts work with prize picks, the most profitable venture or, um, entries to do it's five and six legs. I go through the math on everything related to prize picks in a previous video. So if you are, if you want to know more detail about that, why it's the most profitable, the best value, then just look that up on the OddsGM YouTube channel. Just know that for this video, it would take 10 minutes to explain the math. So just know that five and six legs are the most profitable, have the highest value. The individual odds for each individual leg. So like when it comes to sports betting, like regular sports books, there are odds associated with every play, right? Like we see on the screen here, minus 148, minus 140, minus 150, whatever. If, if you're playing a five or six pick flex on prize picks, the implied odds of each individual leg is at minus 119. So basically, if you do a five or six leg parlay at minus 119 odds, it equates to the payout of what it would be on prize picks. It's kind of how that makes sense. So the goal when it comes to price picks is entirely different, as I mentioned. You're just trying to find player props, and this is going to sound simple because it is, that are likely to hit, that are more likely than not to hit, that have a win percentage of roughly 54 and a half or higher, and those will be profitable player props to put into an entry. The reason why that's different from sports betting is because if a sports book deems a play likely, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to charge more money for it. So like, look at the odds for this Eric Carlson play. We see odds from like minus 140 to minus 150. That means you have to risk 140 or $150 to profit 100. They think that he's significantly likely to go over 0.5 assists. So they're charging more money for it, right? They're not giving you as high of a payout. Price fix doesn't do that. Every single leg is going to have the implied odds of minus 119. So if you click this calculator here, it'll actually give you the percent chance of this player that this player prop has to hit. In this case, just over 55%, 55.36%. And this information is derived from these no big odds here. So essentially, when it comes to sports betting, some sports books are sharper than others at pricing odds. And the sharp ones 
um, Oddsham collects the odds, the data from the Sharp Sportsbooks and spits them out into these Novig odds here. So you can kind of view this as the true line of what this Eric Carlson market should truly be priced at. And it's the same for every single play here. So like wherever you see the Novig odds, you can view this as the true line. So based on the true line, based on these Sharp Sportsbooks, as I said, the win percentage for this Eric Carlson player prop is over 55%. Because we are taking this on prize picks, we're not paying any extra juice. So, and if you just look at the odds of every sports book, which I already did, you see how likely they have it to hit. And this is exactly what I mean when I say you're looking for player props that are likely to hit. I mean, you, you let the sports books tell you which, which ones they think are likely to hit by just looking at how uh, high they juice the player props themselves. In this case, all the way up to minus 150, pretty heavily juiced. We are not paying any juice because we're using price picks, any extra juice, I should say. So this is play number one, as I mentioned. Play number two in this five-leg entry, Kevin Fiala under three and a half shots on goal. So the uh, odds jam perfect line prices this to be at about minus 124. Essentially, price picks, the implied odds, as I mentioned, is at minus 119. The win percentage for this one, based on these Novig odds right here, is at Again, close 55.3%. And if you look at where every other sports book prices it, Pinnacle, which is uh, generally thought of as the sharpest book in the world, is at minus 165. Bet Online, another sharp one at minus 143. And we pretty much see minus 140 across the board um, with DraftKings at minus 135. Either way, all of the sports books that are pricing this are heavily juicing the under, which is them telling you they think it's likely to hit. Because we are taking this on price picks, we are not paying any extra juice. It's the same for every single leg. Obviously, this one's no different. So this is leg two. Leg three, another NHL one. William Nylander over three and a half shots on goal. So the odds jam perfect line prices this at about minus 122. Just below that, the win percentage on this one is just below 50 or yeah, just below 55 percent at 54.91 and then same logic here if you look at every sports book and where they price it it's actually a really good play at bet rivers so for those of you that are actually sports betting that have bet rivers this is a really good play because it's at minus 114 if you look at every other book minus 144 minus 139 minus 140s pretty much across the board where again we're not paying any extra juice so play number three William Nylander over three and a half shots on goal. Play number four, and we are in the NBA now, is Tyler Hero under four and a half assists. So the win percentage associated with this one is about 54.6%. So again, I said we generally need to stay above that 54 and a half number, which we are doing here. Um, Odds Jam Perfect Line has this at minus 120. Then if you compare the sports books, we see like minus 134 from Pinnacle. Bet online at minus 135. DraftKings at minus 130. And then we see some all the way up at minus 148 and minus 154. Pretty good pricing here. And then the last one, another NBA one, we're looking at Jimmy Butler over 20 and a half points. Win percentage of this one is about the lowest we can get it at, uh, where it's still a profitable play at 54.34%. Looking at the sports books, Pinnacle is incredibly high on this one at minus 159, as is Bet Online at minus 154. The rest of the books aren't quite as high as the sharp ones, but obviously we give heavier weight to the sharp ones, which makes this a good play as my fifth and final entry for uh, this video. So if you're tailing these, I um, obviously recommend putting them in a five pick flex. All five of them are mathematically profitable player props to put on prize picks. A lot of P's on that one, a lot of alliter alliter alliteration, uh, but that's going to be it for this video. So if you're tailing, comment and let me know. Other than that, would appreciate like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff helps me out a ton. And that's it. So appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.